in case you haven't watched the actual video, check it out in the video description where Matarimas is hooning it completely around the construction site of, uh, of the upcoming Rimas campus. So since the car is supposed to be crashed, it has seen better days, but it will also see worse days. Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring, uh, sorry, welcome to a video that is actually filmed in the morning because I'm about to leave to Croatia just for a couple of days, so I decided, you know what, let's do an old, good old travel vlog. Before we do that, let's have a look what is happening here at Apex. Supra is getting its, well, old uh, stock components back reinstalled, with the Verkline suspension, the subframe, yeah, there it is has been taken off to be replaced by the original version just one more time in case you missed it the car is being sold that's so far when it comes to actual updates here there will be a lot more happening once i'll be back in a few days time because then the holiday season is actually over right let's go hop in a polestar and uh, go to the airport uh, no we cannot send it well watch me Famous last words, huh? And it started snowing. Great. I don't think the weather is much better in Zagreb, to be honest, anyway. It's good that I decided to leave in time today because uh, maybe a bit later the roads will be completely covered in snow before the salt trucks get here. And it might be a bit jammy. It's been a while. Uh, they forgot to take down a Christmas tree. Awesome how police is just chilling here. Yeah. <laughs> so fast forward to some underground car park. We have the 190. Nice. No way. Is that the original mileage? Yes. 26,000? Yes. Wow. Damn. That's phenomenal. Where did you find it? Like how? Zagreb. So someone just had it and they didn't know yes. what they had. Yeah. They just like we're selling it for thousand kuna because it's probably uh, <laughs> it's old. <laughs> he mine uh, uh, Ethereum. Okay. So. Wow! Like everything is brand new. Yeah. Like I need to turn the flash on because you can. Wow! Incredible. What? What's the? year like uh, the, the build uh, here 90, 90. Yeah. Wow, like everything oh yeah, my god sure, sure <laughs> uh, it's all because of me extra weight yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no this car you need to like really uh, yeah. keep and that's like the highlight of everything Wow. It's really good. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> State of the paint as well. And of course we stopped by at Rimac. So the car is not running full power, is this correct? Yeah, it's lacking I think some kind of 250 kilowatts because it has the everything inside for the crash test. Mm -hmm. But now I think it will be enough also for us to have fun with it. Exactly. Yeah. So that's roughly, so the, um, the, the final production version is going to have 1914 horsepower. So now we're talking yeah, about, about like about 1500-ish. 1600, 1600, something like that. Yeah. The car still goes, uh, it's limited to 340 yeah. kilometers per hour GPS speed. It goes under three seconds, 100 to 200. Yeah. It goes under six seconds, 200 to, to 300 with that power now that we have. So it's well, quite fast see. also now. <laughs> Oh, passenger display. That wasn't working back in my time. <laughs> yeah, you can also change the layout of the display. So we have some new features here. Let's say passenger screen. Now we can have a speed readout, average speed and consumption, drift status mm -hmm. with the angles, G-force, or let's say navigation and stuff like that. So. It but this has, is not the, is this the final version of no, the infotainment? No. What, what are we doing what, first? What do you want to see here? <laughs> I don't know. Just okay, you have the speed readout and let's say the power out. Do 
you feel the difference in the car? Oh yeah, for than sure. Before? Oh, definitely. Like suspension settings alone. Yeah. This is so like it's it's pretty much finished product. It's much much better, yeah. And we still have some some things to do to tune up, fine tuning on tracks and yeah. stuff like that. But no, but the car yeah. is so like predictable. Yeah. It feels like you you're so in control, like you know. We we had that was a fun story. We had like few few months ago. Uh, we have the guys from Porsche Engineering, they came to try the car, yeah. test the car. And one of the guys hopped in and he was driving the car and he was like, oh yeah, it's so nice. It's, uh, I like how it changes the directions. It's so like, um, uh, dynamics of the car is very good. It's, yeah. I must say for a, uh, for a 1,700 kilo car, it's very nice. Yeah. And the car is over two tons. Yeah, so yeah. it really hides the, the, the weight yeah. pretty good. You know about the brakes, they are six spot front and rear. Yeah. So it has some quite of stopping power. It's we got so on this. Effortless. Yeah, on this straight, like we got the. I think La Ferrari couldn't go over 140 and stuff like that. Okay. You get 100, 180 GPS speed here, like it's nothing. And of course, we stopped by at Rimac for the most important part. Yes. <laughs> and seeing Marta. Yeah. Okay. But most you. Part, yeah. And then yes. But I saw you before Chivapi. Sure did. And ever since I left. The options of free fruit for employees has been massively improved. Not only fruit, but also like muesli and some coconuts. Mm. Nice. This is really good. Recommendation by Miro from Prototype Assembly. Big shout out to him. Good recommendation. And we are back. Same dark, but Monday evening. It's kind of a weird vlog, but hopefully some cool content. Hope it made sense, most of all. And most importantly for me personally, it was amazing because I had lots of fun, I met my friends and um, yeah, I guess in a way I recharged for the upcoming weeks before this season starts. It sounds far away, but it is actually not. In any case, nap time and see you tomorrow, maybe with some more updates from here. Winter Wonderland.